See, I'm tired of um, reading, you know, dodgy letters about people who think they know hip-hop culture. The bottom line is, it's no point walking the walk, talking the talk, and not actually knowing knowledge about hip-hop. So anytime there's an exhibition in London, we like to point you in the right direction, because knowledge is power. The latest exhibition is at the Elms Leicester Gallery. We sent the lit cameras down there. It's all about the culture, the graffiti, and the art. And the art is going for big, big bucks now. Roll them. Hey, what's up? My name is Stash. I'm an artist from Brooklyn, New York. I'm here at Elms Lester's showing some paintings in Last Exit to Brooklyn. I'm Paul Jones, and I run the Elms Lester's painting rooms. And I have a show on this evening of five artists from Brooklyn, which is the happening place at the moment. Most of the inspiration comes from really to the graph movement itself. If I'm not creating with lettering or using the actual medium of spray paint, I like to use the, the icons of the movement, nozzles, spray paint cans within my art. Some of the, some of the other pieces that are in the gallery this evening are actually photographs, digitally output on canvas, of cans that I've have had in my studio or in my possession for like 20 years. So like, sort of like an homage to the movement, really. All these boys, they haven't been held back by uh, critics or art schools or whatever, so their head's completely open, so they've all got a fresh head. It's an art without boundaries. These artists, they're known in uh, Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore, all out the Far East, America. France, Germany, they're, they're cult figures, all of them are. The relationship between graffiti and hip-hop is the same thing between graffiti and breakdance, and between, I mean, the whole movement kind of cultivated together, you know? We don't necessarily, let's say, roll together, but we're fam. You know, that's the way I look at it. It really, like, represents the urban culture and stuff, and really how, like, people from the city kind of think about things. So. Different from what you usually see in galleries and things. Yeah, definitely. It represents the youth. It's youth-driven. It's, you know, it's, it's the origin of it. So no matter how it matures and branches out in all these directions, there's still, there's still a base of the origin. And, and, you know, what we know is, like, old school or whatever you label it as. You know what I mean? And it, it's side and side. It's hand in hand. Do I consider my artwork art or graffiti? What is graffiti? Graffiti is an art form. So when people look at the word graffiti and they equate it to vandalism, that's anybody can go and write anything on a wall or anything, but if you're creating something, it's art. End of story. I don't even want to go any further. It's art. You know it's art. I know it's art. It's art. <laughs>